Hi, I'm Kelly Krings Lunder, and I'm a licensed clinical social worker. One of the services I offer in my private practice is neurofeedback, which uses games, concentration, and relaxation exercises to repair everything from traumatic brain injury to post-traumatic stress disorder to ADHD. Neurofeedback trains the brain to open up new neural pathways, and this process is called neuroplasticity. Essentially, the brain is healing itself. Medications for a variety of things can be reduced or eliminated with neurofeedback, and overall quality of life for everyone can be improved using neurofeedback. Bear with me for a few moments while I tell you what you are looking at. You won't get the full effect without an explanation. Please observe the dials as I'm speaking on this monitoring program for attention and meditation. What you are seeing in real time is this woman's brain waves. The bioelectrical current of her brain is being measured via a small headset and is giving us about a 98 to 99% read of her brain waves. The Hertz bars are measuring the different frequencies in bioelectrical current, as is the dynamic graph. The higher the hertz, the more attention, relaxation, focus, and learning a person is able to achieve. It is important for you to note that the headset she's wearing is not picking up vibrations from my voice or from music. I'll be silent for a moment so you can see that. This headset is, however, sensitive to blinking, and you will occasionally see spikes like that, and that is from blinking. You are looking at the brain of a young female with mild ADHD and moderate post-traumatic stress disorder. So this person can have a hard time focusing and concentrating as well as feeling relaxed. So there are multiple challenge areas here. This person is learning to train her brain to produce alpha waves for relaxation as well as beta waves for attention and gamma waves for ultimate relaxation and concentration. So now where science meets magic and aren't they really ultimately the same in the end? When I saw Thor 2, the outstanding musical score was instantly apparent to me. I bought it immediately, and I went out to find more about the composer, Brian Tyler, and I expected not him. I expected someone old and graying because the music has so much gravity, and I really mean that as a compliment. Uh, Brian Tyler is extremely accomplished, well-educated at UCLA, and got a master's degree at Harvard, and is held in high esteem, and he's highly acclaimed. He's won numerous prestigious awards as well as two Emmy nominations. Brian Tyler also plays an incredible variety of instruments, including drums, piano, guitar, and bass, just to name a few. He conducts, he composes, he produces, and the score for Thor 2 enhanced everything about that movie, including the incredible performance by all the actors, which speaks a lot to the screenplay directing an entire crew. Uh, but I'm going to have to save that for a future video where I discuss narrative therapy and the use of archetypes. I don't want to steal the thunder and applause that need to go to Brian Tyler on this one. So since I was so captivated by the Thor 2 score, I chose to play it during neurofeedback sessions. I knew it would help people relax and concentrate, but I wasn't expecting their brains to sync with the music. I've run what you are about to see on five different people in the last two weeks, and each time their brains sync up with the music. This means that if the brain is not being used in its entirety, then it is certainly being used at a much larger capacity than normal. What's beautiful about this is that due to neuroplasticity, the changes are lasting for at least 20 minutes, and 20 minutes eventually becomes permanent. We can train the brain with games uh, to pay attention, relax, and be happy, and music is an added bonus that makes this work better and faster. This does not work with all music. It only works with the best music. The best for your brain being classical, orchestral, symphonic, excellent movie and TV scores, and a tiny smattering of the most layered and complex pop and rock will also produce this brain sync. You've probably heard that music can increase IQ, increase concentration, and decrease stress and improve memory. It's true, and you get to see it. Here it is in real time from world-renowned composer and conductor Brian Tyler. I apologize to Mr. Tyler if the music doesn't sound amazing coming through uh, the computer. Don't hold it against him. It's not his fault. It's the way I'm running this recording. So here we go. This track is Thor, The Dark World, and I'm going to point out where the brain syncs up. And you're going to see that this Hertz bar looks just like a stereo EQ. But again, it's not from vibrations from the music. This is bioelectrical frequency that's being measured uh, from response to the music.
we have sink. Thank you for watching. I think we live in a truly magical time where we can share our talents to improve quality of life in unique ways. Thank you to Brian Tyler for sharing his talents with the world. You can purchase the Thor 2 soundtrack on iTunes by clicking at the link on the bottom of this screen. Music that engages your whole brain and turns everything into an adventure, I don't think you can go too wrong there. Your brain will benefit from this too watch, reply if you have questions, and retweet.